Hello, and welcome to our webinar. My name is Nicole gordon Recht, and I'm the Education Consultant with Lightworks Communication Systems. Thank you so much for being here for our exciting presentation featuring BIAMP. Um, for those of you who are not familiar, Lightworks is a premier AV integrator. We partner with elite manufacturers to serve corporate and educational institutions for audio audiovisual projects. BIAMP is one of our longstanding and premier audio brand partners. And they've actually expanded their footprint through some recent acquisitions. Today, we have Phil Celia, who's the regional sales manager at BIAMP, and Andrew Rutkin, who is the field sales engineer at BIAMP. Um, and their presentation is entitled BIAMP in Large Distributed AV deployments. Thank you so much for being here, Phil and Andrew. Take it away. All right, great. Well, thank you, everybody. And I, I want to thank Lightworks for allowing us to present to all of you today. Uh, Lightworks is also a great partner of BIAMP, and we really appreciate them uh, letting us have this opportunity. Um, as as uh, Nicole said, I'm uh, Phil Celia, Regional Sales Manager, Andrew Rutkin, is here today to do a live demo for you. Um, and he's our field engineer, field sales engineer. So let's get started. Uh, first, a, a little bit of a refresher here. What's our vision? Our vision at BIAP is to connect people through extraordinary audiovisual experiences. And uh, we know that what is extraordinary today will not be extraordinary tomorrow. So we're always looking to move forward uh, in, in finding a new extraordinary audiovisual experience. And where and uh, where, what, why, I mean, what do we do? Uh, well, we connect these people through these experiences from rooms to buildings, to campuses and to enterprise. And uh, we, we have a, an internal company philosophy called SEEK which everything we do revolves around our SEEK philosophy, and that's simplicity, efficiency, effectiveness, experiences, and connectedness. And everything that we think about, every product we make, every program we put forth, every, every new development in our company follows this formula. And I think what I'm gonna do now is just stop my video to free up a little bit of bandwidth, so bear with me. There we go. And we have a, a, a large product summary. Um, Tessera AV processing and distribution platforms, that's our DSP, uh, primary DSP platform, Parley beam tracking microphones, uh, DeSono high performance loudspeakers. We have uh, Devio, which is an all-in-one huddle room uh, solution. And we've actually expanded Devio into a new model that can do medium and large rooms as well. Vochi is our paging and emergency communication platform. SageView is our network monitoring software and control platform. Cambridge Sound Masking for privacy in sound masking. Cambridge, uh, we acquired a number of years ago. CrowdMics is another company we acquired that gives you event audience engagement. And I'll be talking a little bit about that in just a bit. Modena is another company we acquired out of Modena, Italy, where they're famous for their great balsamic vinegar. But anyway, we, we acquired this company, uh, used to be, I believe, called Huddle Hub. Now it, we rebranded it Modena, and it's our wireless presentation system. And this is a fabulous, fabulous technology that I think uh, you'll be really in, interested in hearing about. Community loudspeakers, another acquisition from a couple of years back that gave BIAMP a, a wide array of uh, loudspeaker choices from the smallest to largest application, and has really helped us uh, being able to deploy the large scale venues um, a, a lot more easily and efficiently. And uh, United uh, com uh, Unified Communications, these are our certified uh, bundle solutions. Uh, we'll be showing you a demo of uh, deploying that solution very, very quickly today. Andrew will be hosting that a little later on in this broadcast. But these are our certified uh, conferencing room, meeting room bundles for uh, Zooms, Google Meets, and uh, Teams. And we cover a, a wide range of vertical markets with these products from business and education to government to deemed entertainment, sports venues, houses of worship, healthcare, 
performance venues, transportation, hospitality, and retail. So you can see that the breadth of the buy-in product line now through all these acquisitions have expanded us far out of the DSP and conferencing room space and more into large-scale AV deployment. With all these uh, industry-leading solutions for these environments, from room to building to enterprise, from UC collaboration right up to sound masking, these are just some of the products that we have in our portfolio. And what we're going to do today is we're going to align some of our, our spaces and some of the applications in those spaces to some of the products that we have. So this is not going to be a technical broadcast. This is really going to be application-specific. Uh, and we're going to focus today on business and education. That's the primarily the business and the business campus and the education and the education camp somewhere where large scale AV deployment uh, could be in play. We're going to show you how every single one of our product categories could be used as solutions that you may encounter in these spaces. So let's talk about business and education spaces. And you will see there's a lot of alignment here. There's meeting spaces and classrooms. There's conference and huddle rooms, conference rooms and boardrooms. There's presentation theaters and an education auditoriums, lecture halls and performing arts centers. We have breakout room dining cafes in both um, indoor outdoor areas in business and in education. But education, we also have athletic fields, which the community product excels in and is widely known for. And of course, whenever you're doing campus wide or enterprise type uh, deployment, you want to have make sure that you could easily network and monitor and manage all the devices from building to building, from room to room. You want to make sure you have full um, capability to know what's going on at all times in our sage view monitoring program uh, uh, will will do that so let's just start um, breaking down some of these spaces so in conference room boardrooms huddle rooms and classrooms this is this is where our end-to-end -end conferencing solution really fits in all these spaces and with distance learning being something that's really come into play in the last year we're seeing a lot of these solutions in classrooms now uh, as classrooms uh, and education uh, you know uh, as the education market gets refunded and uh, they're expanding into more distance learning technology the Archicera DSP platform our DeSono speakers our Parlay beam tracking microphones, our Debio huddle room solutions. Uh, and here's our Modena. This is our wireless presentation uh, platform. You notice this lady sitting at the desk here. She would not need to plug in any cables, not an HDMI cable, not a USB cable to present and to share, nor will anyone else in the office, nor will anyone remote out of the office. Uh, I, during during the last year, we've seen conference rooms, less people in a conference room and more people sharing and communicating remotely. And this gives you uh, a lot of power to do that, both wirelessly, video and audio. Uh, so Modena is, uh, you can read all about it on our website, iamp.com. I would invite you to go there and, and check it out. This is a great solution. We're seeing a lot of traction in this. And uh, it might be something that, you know, could be a, a real win for your, uh, you know, for, for you and, and for the people that you serve. Um, uh, you, uh, and of course, all of these solutions are UC certified, Google Meets, Teams and Zoom. So we have certifications from those three entities that um, that have been totally vetted and, and totally certified. And then we move into meeting spaces and auditorium classrooms. So this is a little different. You have a large meeting space. So we have a room similar to this at BIAMP, uh, among many other rooms, where uh, you, know, you may need some different type of applications. Maybe it's connected to a campus-wide uh, DSP uh, you know, infrastructure. And we also have our Tessera server IOs. So we have fixed architecture DSP, fixed IO. We also have uh, server-based uh, uh, architecture, you, you know, frames where you would outfit the frames with a, a number of cards to allow you to deploy what you need to deploy. Uh, ceiling microphones may not be applicable here, but we have 
pendant microphones, ceiling speakers, because of the architectural design in this ceiling may not be applicable, but we have pendant speakers, a large, uh, this is not the only model we have. We have several different form factors of pendant speakers. We also have where you do have the ability to put something up in the ceiling. We have plenum rated amplifiers as well as, uh, you know, regular standalone amplifiers. The Sono, we have a full range, uh, range of speakers, but we also have mixing amplifiers and, and um, uh, zone amplifiers and music playback systems and bookshelf speakers and surface mount speakers and of course, uh, flush mount speakers. So a wide range of speakers and applications. Perhaps you need some light background music in a space like this. And then when you get into the auditorium classroom space, you know, the real winner here uh, is uh, Modena and crowd mics. Um, now in crowd mics, uh, I'll, I'll explain that in a second, but we've been using crowd mics for several years at Biamp in our large scale meetings. And we would use it in a room such as like this. And we're finding a tremendous amount of traction in the auditorium classroom space for crowd mics. What crowd mics is, is it takes your smartphone and turns it into a microphone and allows you to interact with the presenter through Q&A and through polling. So think of you're in a classroom, everybody's got a mic in their pocket that could talk, and everybody's got a device in their pocket that could communicate to the teacher or the presenter. The, the teacher could be asking questions and poll, there could be Q&A moving back and forth. And we use this in our large scale meetings at, at, at Biam too. Now, of course, over the last year, there haven't been a lot of big corporate meetings, so we haven't seen much traction in that particular space. But lately, many, many large scale universities are adapting crowd mics into spaces like this and beyond. So again, Modena and crowd mics, these are two amazing uh, technologies that only buy amp hats. And uh, uh, there are some other wireless presentation platforms out there, but I think when you look at Modena, you'll see that we are the best, if I dare to say so. And uh, crowd mics is something that I think could be a really uh, huge win uh, for, for all of you. So please visit buyamp.com, read more about these products. And if you want to demo on these products, please contact Lightworks and we'll be more than happy to set up something uh, to take you through these products one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So I'm going to turn it over to Andrew to talk about break dining and cafe spaces. All right. Thanks, Bill. So um, this, this is really where the, the depth and breadth of the product line starts to really show is uh, Phil's been talking mostly about smaller spaces so far, but even as we get into the very large spaces, either in the educational world or in, in corporate, uh, BIAMP has uh, a full slate of, of solutions that, uh, that are applicable. Uh, Phil's talked quite a bit about Tessera, either the uh, fixed architecture Tessera Forte series or the open architecture card-based uh, to Sarah's server series are extremely scalable up to very, very large systems. One of the big advantages that to Sarah has over uh, a lot of the other uh, uh, DSP platforms that are out there today is you can actually have multiple DSP devices sharing a common uh, file. It makes large systems much more manageable because instead of having to have a separate computer file for every DSP engine in the system, everything is brought together in one large file and uh, the entire system, no matter how large, can be uh, controlled from a single computer interface. Uh, again, the, uh, the depth and breadth of the speaker line, especially now that we have community into the BIAM fold, uh, pendant speakers, ceiling speakers, much larger uh, devices for those larger facilities, including modular line arrays, uh, more traditional kind of point and shoot speakers, um, uh, 12 inch, 10 inch, two way, 15 inch, two way type speakers, uh, wooden enclosure boxes. And also uh, every model in the product, the community product line is available as a weather resistant version. And this is not just uh, uh, a simple coating of fiberglass or special paint on the outside of a traditional plywood box. It's a high tech fiberglass based material that the enclosure is made out of. So they are inherently weather resistant from the get go. And I said, uh, uh, every, every product in the community line is available that way. So indoor spaces, outdoor spaces, we, we have you covered pretty much anywhere, uh, anywhere you need to go. Again, uh, the, uh, 
for smaller applications, we have a good range of uh, small mixer amplifiers, self-contained units for, for the, an individual room or something of that sort. Uh, uh, also applicable in retail spaces or just for general background music uh, as well. So let's, let's move on to the, the next slide there, Phil. And now we're, we're scaling up again. Presentation theaters, auditoriums, lecture halls. Uh, and this we're thinking mostly along the lines of rooms that seat a hundred or more people, up to thousands. And uh, uh, again, the, the Tessera product line is our is our cornerstone for building large systems of this sort. Up to hundreds of inputs and outputs, Dante compatible, AVB compatible, analog inputs and outputs, even CobraNet for network-based audio distribution. Uh, Communities, uh, larger speakers really come into play here. The IV6 line array system uh, is uh, one of the few line array uh, uh, system uh, that is specifically designed for permanent installation. It doesn't have a bunch of unnecessary uh, hardware or uh, mechanical features that you might want if you were touring with a line array to do rock concerts or things of that sort. So we've been able to make a tremendously cost-effective system uh, I optimized for, uh, for, for uh, permanent installs. Uh, these are other areas where uh, Modna and especially crowd mics come into play. You think about uh, uh, an audience auditorium with a thousand people in it uh, who you want to have participate in your meeting. Uh, the traditional solution is you pass a microphone around or you have people come up to the front of the room to uh, speak on the microphone. Crowd mics make, makes all that unnecessary. Everybody in that thousand seat auditorium has a microphone in their uh, in their pocket. They can also text messages to the moderator of the meeting so that uh, 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 those can be relayed without having to stand up and uh, and speak to the crowd. So let's uh, let's let's move on to the next one. Uh, here I'm going to I'm going to turn things back over to Phil, who's going to talk to you about indoor and outdoor areas. All right. Yeah. So indoor and outdoor common areas going on here? I can't move that. Um, in or outdoor common areas. Uh, so these could be very interesting spaces too. And as Andrew said, our community line has all kinds of weatherized options for an outdoor area. These column line arrays fit nicely, tucked into a building, painted. They're all paintable. You could paint in, in them right into the architecture. Or you may want some outdoor sound reinforcement with our weatherized R series. Uh, indoor, um, you know, here's a very interesting ceiling. So uh, if you want some, you know, audio in here, you're probably going to go with some sort of a pendant mount or maybe something, uh, you know, surface mount on, on top of, uh, you know, maybe up here, uh, shooting on downward. Um, but in, in all of these, uh, especially in, in all of these big, large scale deployments, paging, Paging is absolutely essential, especially on large campuses and large business campuses. And we have a scalable paging solution from building to enterprise with Fochia and for emergency evacuation or campus-wide paging. So that's another great uh, opportunity to uh, put a buy-in product into a large-scale AV deployment. And of course, some of these areas, some of these common space areas, uh, maybe not so much this area, but you, you do have gathering areas where people like to work, uh, free zone areas, if you will. And sometimes speech privacy is, is pretty important in those areas. And our Cambridge sound matching is a perfect solution for taking a very large space and creating speech privacy with, with sound masking. Um, and that's about it. I mean, you know, small little space like this, you may want some sound reinforcements, a little background music. Um, there's all kinds of options. I, I, I think you get it that we have the ability to outfit every, every inch of a large campus uh, deployment, whether it be business or education. Andrew. Performing arts centers. So this is... Uh... This is where the high performance aspect of uh, the community uh, and uh, buy-up solutions really comes into, into play. It, similar uh, uh, application, what we were talking about a few minutes ago in large meeting spaces, but uh, in these type of applications, the, uh, the need for extremely high quality audio really comes to the forefront. 
And it, again, this is where the depth and breadth of the community product line in particular uh, uh, really comes into play. The IV6 line array is uh, an amazingly cost-effective, high-performance solution for, uh, uh, for live theater, live music. We have a full range of uh, smaller loudspeakers in the IP and IC series for ancillary spaces, like you'll see a couple of IC speakers on the stage lip there to cover the front rows that aren't uh, well covered from the overhead arrays. Subwoofers in a huge variety of shapes and sizes and uh, uh, more traditional uh, uh, 12 and 15 inch two-way speakers for smaller rooms or for things such as under balcony or over balcony fill, side fill, uh, 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 pretty much in, uh, in any kind of a uh, general purpose application in these types of spaces. The, uh, the Sono column arrays also come into play, especially in uh, uh, this, uh, smaller rooms where it's uh, mainly a voice issue. And uh, they are scalable up to uh, uh, three and four uh, arrays up to 10 to 12 feet tall for extremely good pattern control in acoustically hostile spaces, very useful. Uh, when the architect perhaps has uh, forgotten to uh, include the amount of acoustical material in the, in the design that's, that's required for a good audio in a space. And again, the uh, uh, Tessera DSP platform has a tremendous number of built-in tools and modules for signal processing, routing, uh, uh, microphone mixing, and everything that's, uh, that's required for these kind of type of very large, very complex systems. All right, so let's, uh, let's uh, move on, Phil, in uh, athletic facilities. And this is at both indoors and outdoors. We're showing pictures of, of outdoor facilities here, but uh, we're really talking about anything from uh, a gymnasium out to a, a baseball or football field and anywhere from you know, a municipal facility up through uh, educational facilities and on uh, into uh, the professional level. Uh, NFL and uh, uh, NBA type uh, stadiums and arenas. And uh, again, the power of Tessera is here. We uh, accommodate huge amounts of inputs and complex zoning for uh, uh, complex facilities like the stadium you see down below with uh, uh, large amounts of distributed speakers in different areas that need to be covered with, at different levels with different amounts of signal delay or equalization. A uh, variety of DeSono speakers for the ancillary spaces that uh, uh, all these types of facilities tend to have. And again, the, the power of community. This is this has really been community strong point for, for many, many years. There are series and the high series of weather resistant uh, boxes for outdoor enclosures, uh, outdoor systems. And the um, uh, now the IV6 is especially useful in large uh, indoor arenas and, and stadiums or distributed systems in larger things such as soccer or football stadiums. Uh, Osea is, of course, uh, uh, a big player in this market, too. Uh, it, it connects well uh, and interfaces well with emergency evacuation systems, fire alarm systems, and, and such like for uh, distribution of paging in those emergency uh, type applications, but also provides a very user-friendly and powerful uh, zone paging solution uh, for just general day-to-day -day use. I think that uh, that'll wrap us up for uh, for that, and we'll now talk about SageView. Uh, Phil touched on this a, a few minutes ago. SageView is, is an extremely powerful tool for system management, especially for these larger enter enterprise or campus-wide systems that we've been talking about. But it uh, allows the uh, the controller, the, the end user, to monitor the health and operation of every uh, BIAMP device that's connected to the network throughout a facility or across uh, across the country, across the world via the internet. Uh, it's also uh, easy to integrate it uh, into other uh, vendors' enterprise dashboards. It uses a RESTful API to allow simple integration there. So the, the overall uh, uh, enterprise management system, HVAC, lighting, security, and all BIAMP here can all be accessed from a, uh, a single software platform. Um, 
And I think that, that, that pretty much wraps it up for Sageview. So I think I'm going to be turning it back over to Phil now. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna get a little demo. So a little a little while ago, I, I mentioned our conference room bundle solutions, the, the UC certified bundle solutions. And what we thought we'd do is we would show you what truly rapid deployment is all about. Now, the reason why we're putting this also into an AV uh, large AV deployment webinar is that you think about it, you may have uh, an opportunity to do a number of of uh, conference rooms or classrooms that are, you know, basically basically the same footprint, and you may have 20 rooms or 30 rooms to do. Now, you don't want to go into each room and have to separate uh, separately commission each room and spend a lot of time setting up that room. Well, that's where these truly rapid deployment bundles really come into play. We utilize something called BiAmp Launch in order to do this. This is an auto configuration. Uh, program that will basically auto commission your room, if you will, for lack of a better word. And uh, we're going to talk to you about the full range of automation and other smart features by, by and large has uh, after this demonstration to focus up speed and deployment. But hold on to your hats here because Andrew is going to unpack, connect, and deploy a conferencing room bundle in less than 15 minutes. So I'm gonna stop sharing now. And Andrew, you could take it away. All right, I'm starting my video. Hope everybody can see me, hi there. And what I'm gonna do here is I have these two cardboard boxes and this is how a medium room uh, Forte X bundle arrives on the job site. These two boxes, they have everything you need in them to completely set up uh, uh, a voice conferencing system. So, and uh, uh, using the launch feature that Phil just talked about, uh, it sets itself up after I connect a few wires. So I'm gonna start by opening this box. Now I have to, I have to qualify this. I'm cheating a little bit because the plastic wrap has been taken off of these things. This is, this is not the first time I've used this set of, of components to do this demonstration. So the first thing you'll see when you open the box is an IKEA-like uh, set of directions. Uh, much simpler than IKEA, though. You know, no screwdrivers, no hammers, no tools like that required. It's all, it all goes together very simpler, simply with only uh, maybe a couple of basic hand tools required. So you'll see here that when I open this box, there are several other boxes inside of it. So these are the components, the electronic components for the system. The first couple of boxes I'm going to pull out are actually empty because this is a medium room bundle. If this was a large room bundle, there would be other components in there because you need more gear for a large, a large room. Now, the first thing I'm gonna take out is a Forte X. And this is the newest generation of our long running Forte platform. So, uh, it's something that's constantly under development and we're constantly updating firmware and adding features. And this is the latest generation of the hardware taking advantage of more recent uh, advances in uh, IC technology to really shrink the, uh, the package size down by about two thirds compared to the original uh, Tessera Forte. So it uh, comes with this uh, mounting bracket that allows you to bolt it onto the wall, strain reliefs for the cables as you connect them. And I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in. And I wanna mention that this, this is the only power cord that we're gonna have for this system. Uh, one outlet is all that's required. I'm gonna plug this in real quick here. Okay. Now, turn that that way. The next thing I'm going to open up here is the 450 BT amplifier. This is a PoE powered four channel amplifier, four channels of three watts continuous and up to uh, 25 watts peak in a package that uh, is uh, can be installed up in a plenum 
and can actually be bolted onto one of the speakers that we're going to see here in a few minutes. And next I am unpacking, this is a tabletop bundle by the way, so this is a tabletop version of the Parlay microphone. And put that right there. Also in this box is the network module that does a lot of the processing for this microphone. You can see it can be mounted up under a table. It's also PoE powered and will connect up to the back of the uh, Tessera Forte X, which is basically a, uh, uh, a Dante and AVB distribution point. Uh, what I've just done here, these cables, these are uh, CAT6 cables, they're plenum rated. This is all part of the kit. And these are all the cables you need to hook up all the components we just pulled out. We'll get this box out of the way here. So those are all the components of the system. Processor, amplifier, uh, network box for the microphone, microphone. Now I'm gonna uh, move over here and unpack the speakers. Now these are the Sono CIC6 speakers. Hey Andrew, could you could you move the, um, the, the microphone more into view of the camera, uh, closer to you on the table? Sure. Yeah, we, yeah, it was a little bit, it's out of the camera range. Move them closer to you on the table. Set it closer to you, closer to you, yeah. A little closer, closer to you. <laughs> Thank you. I thought I had this all beautifully framed when I started. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to pull out the first speaker now. You'll see this, uh, it's a coaxial six and a half inch two way. It has this kind of star shaped grill in the front of it that I thought was just kind of an accident when I first saw it, but it makes a great place to hold onto the speaker when you're, uh, when you're trying to get it up there in the ceiling. The grill is magnetically held, and you can also uh, use it with a, um, a tether. Well, that's one speaker. Let me pull out the other one here. There's the grill. There's the speaker. Put it back together here real quick. Get that one out of the way. Okay. Now, time to hook everything up. Now I'm going to start grabbing my Cat6 cables. And plug in here to the back of the Forte X. And from there, I'll just go into the amplifier. Andrew, how long are the cables that come with the box? There are uh, a couple of, there are two 20 foot cables and three 10 foot cables. And that's a 10 foot cable I'm plugging into the microphone uh, network box. And then I'm gonna plug the microphone into the appropriate slot here. Better put my glasses on so I do this the right way. There we go. And you notice the microphone also has an RJ connector on, on the end of it as well. So now I can move to the speakers. And this is one of the really slick features here. You notice they're all RJ connectors on, the, on this amplifier. So these, uh, these CAT6 cables that are supplied with the system are not just for the electronics, they're also the speaker cables. And I'm going to use my last 10 foot cable. And 
and uh, the amplifier is is designed so that it can power up to two speakers off of a single channel, which is exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm just daisy chaining the the uh, speakers together, and each speaker has two RJ45 connectors on it, so it it, it makes it very easy to do. So now everything is connected. I am ready to run launch to actually configure the system. When we look at the front of the Forte X, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a flashing green light by my finger. That is the launch button. I'm gonna put this down and I'm going to push it. And the first thing it's gonna do is look across the network and identify what components are connected to it. So that's, it's doing that now. And you see that that green light is now flashing alternating green and red. That signifies that the launch process has started. We'll give it a moment to find everything. In a moment, we'll hear an announcement from the Tessera that it's uh, that it's getting ready to start. So now it's discovered the microphone, so we have a, a blinking red LED on the microphone. You can see the network. Uh, Detecting the BIAP microphones and speakers in your room. We will now start the launch process. Please remain quiet. Applying speaker tuning and adjusting level. Launch will now apply the optimized speaker tunings. Verifying the next speaker tuning. Obtaining a room reverb measurement. Measuring the room speech intelligibility. Buy-in launch is now complete and the system is ready to use. All right, so that's it. The system, as she said, the system is ready to use. It's checked the RT60 time in the room. It's checked the background noise level in the room, compensated for those uh, acoustical factors, looked at the frequency response of the speakers at the microphone, adjusted for that, looked at the uh, level of the speakers in the microphone, adjusted for that. The system is fully configured. All the installer has to know how to do is cleanly install a loudspeaker in the ceiling and run wires neatly and push a button. It's that simple. Basically, yeah. and, and scalable, right, Andrew? So the large bundles come with two more speakers and an additional microphone. And then um, launch could be, as long as you have to share our products connected to a Forte, whether it be a four, an eight, or a 16, you can utilize launch, correct? That's right. If you, if you look at uh, uh, the Tessera Forte X page on our website, it gives you the listing of all the products within the buy-in family that are launch compatible. And, and Phil's, it's a very good point because you can't just plug anything in. In fact, launch will fail uh, uh, and give you a message telling you that it has failed if it detects something that is out of its uh, uh, known uh, group of products that it can work with, or if the room uh, is uh, extremely bad acoustically where launch can't calculate a, uh, an adequate solution for the room. For right. instance, you, you wouldn't want to use launch in a glass walled cathedral. Uh, it's not going to work. But right. in any uh, typical conference room, and as Phil said, up to uh, numerous microphones, and you can have up to uh, 16 microphones uh, with the, the largest member of the Forte X family, numerous speakers, uh, 
Launch will take a little longer in those situations, but it will, it, uh, it will configure itself. Yeah, and, and we also should know that the Forte X utilizes launch, but can also be used just like a regular uh, uh, Tessera Forte with the Tessera Forte program. It's fully programmable as well as using launch. So you don't, you're not tied to launch if you've got other third party devices uh, connected to it. Um, That's right. And, and, and launch becomes kind of a low risk investment too. If you, if you think you have a room that might not be compatible, then you can try it. Launch will tell you that it's not. If it's not, you can create a Tessera software file that, uh, that will do what the room needs to do. Yeah, so I'm gonna share my screen. You could just take you through a couple of these launch screens, uh, Andrew, just to give them an idea of actually what went on and then we'll, we'll wrap this yeah, up. But yeah, let's what... talk about that because that's, that's, a, that's another important part. So I'm, yeah, I'm, my video is off. Yeah, I'm going to share my screen again here, and then let's, so um, it, it's, uh, let me see, where am I going? Yep, share that screen there and move forward. We did the live demo. Here we go. Here we go. Now this, this is one of the, the coolest features of, of Launch, is this is a, a screenshot of the web interface that uh, you can use to access the Forte X, and it, it, gives you a lot of very, very useful information. The, uh, this uh, image there on the left where it says FAIR, that's what, that's what uh, the uh, launch discovered at the beginning of the process. Those are the characteristics of the room. The room would be FAIR for teleconferencing. And, uh, and that's based on the, on the measurements that it's done. And so launch compensates for that. And at the end of the compensation process, uh, the, uh, this is the result, and it shows you the you know multiple different categories that um, uh, that uh, it measured in, uh, and how well it measured and what the internal settings were to achieve that measurement. The uh, area over at the right uh, is telling you what uh, hardware is in the room, everything that's connected to this particular system, uh, and uh, the number of microphones, the number of speakers and uh, the target room volume. Yeah, uh, so this is something that you can keep, uh, you, know, you can, you can uh, give to the end user to say this, you know, these are the results. This is, uh, this is uh, uh, proof of an excellent performing system. It's also a great reference. Uh, if uh, uh, something in the room changes uh, and you want to rerun launch, just to verify that you, you've gotten back to where you were. You say that the furniture changes, wall treatments, curtains, something of that sort changes in the room. Uh, you can you can rerun launch. Probably a good point to mention too that part of SageView, uh, 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 the SageView Enterprise Management uh, Program, will also allow you to automate launch and rerun it uh, on a time basis or on on demand. Uh, again, if something has changed in the room or you're concerned that uh, uh, somebody has possibly gone in there and disconnected something or something's not functioning properly. So and. That's, that's great, Andrew. Thank you so much. Um, so we're going to move on here and conclude up for everybody. Again, um, please visit buym.com to learn more about uh, this exciting, uh, you know, product, the Tessera Forte that also uses uh, launch. We also have uh, Devio, which is our huddle room or, uh, solution now expanded to four or eight microphones. It too uses the launch protocol. Uh, please keep in mind, launch is not for every single uh, application. So uh, we have a, we, we have a, a, there are certain guidelines there, um, but when it's applicable, um, it's fabulous for large scale uh, deployment of, of multi either uh, conference rooms or classrooms where launch would be applicable. Again, all our leading solutions for all environments. They're all available on the BIAMP website to read about. We have uh, design tools and uh, we have um, uh, um, design guides uh, and we have all kinds of information under our cornerstone knowledge base that would uh, give you a lot of information, far more than you got today. This is just a high level overview of what we have. And keep in mind all of these vertical markets, whether you're doing a deemed entertainment job or you're working in government where, where we have a pretty large footprint, forming arts centers business, 
sports venues, retail, hospitality. We do it all. Uh, so uh, please work with Lightworks and uh, they're well versed in everything we do. They're a great partner and they'd be more than happy to, uh, to assist you with a Biamp solution. Um, remember, we connect people through extraordinary audiovisual experiences in rooms, building campuses and enterprises using our Seek simplicity, efficiency, effectiveness, experiences, and connectedness with these world-class products from Tessera all the way to our UC bundles. And we thank you very much for joining us today. And Andrew, thank you very much for that demo. You actually did it in 13 minutes. That was, that was pretty good. All right, right. new record. Yeah, new record, 13 minutes. <laughs> thank you so much, Phil and Andrew, for this fantastic and informative presentation on BIAMP and large distributed AV deployments. Believe it or not, we do have a couple of questions here. Um, one of them is from Erica. Um, Erica had asked several years back, we explained, ex sorry, experienced difficulty when upgrading the firmware on Artisera Forte to where the system would not completely freeze up and we would have to send it back and forth and wait for a uh, replacement. We then switched to Crestron um, I believe this was answered already, but just in case anybody has this question as well, do you recall if the firmware update issue has been fixed? And uh, Andrew answered in a direct response, but I just wanna make sure that anyone else who might've had the similar question, yes, this firmware update has been fixed. So Biamp is up, just so everyone knows, Biamp is you know, very much dedicated to these firmware updates and um, it says the update has been fixed. We now have yeah, and, and, and I, I can I can address that a little bit more too, just maybe a little bit Great. more detail if that's all right. Um, I, I think what uh, what uh, you're referring to is a, a situation we had where uh, not adjacent firmware versions, but versions that were several iterations apart. There was an issue of updating from, uh, uh, and I, I'm racking my brains trying to remember what the firmware versions were. But uh, it ended up that you had to do a two-step process of updating the older firmware to an intermediate firmware level, and then from that intermediate firmware to the current one. And uh, uh, so that, that problem has definitely been dealt with. And I believe that's, that's the only time we've had that kind of an issue with, uh, with firmware updates with uh, the Tessera software. Okay, great. I do have another question here. Um, We've been hearing about the ability to use your phone as crowd mics, but we're wondering how difficult it is for a presenter or instructor to use the solution. Can you describe the workflow to make that work? If I'm the presenter trying to control lots of variables in my room, for example. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so the question is basically about how, just how simple it is to use crowd mics from a, an operator standpoint. Yes. Right, right. So, yeah, um, I could actually do a crowd mics demo here too. It's 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 so simple to set up. Basically, we have a a, a head end unit called an atom, which is uh, about the size of this unit here. Uh, you plug a monitor into it. You uh, connect it to your network, and uh, you create. Uh, you go into a web browser and access the Atom unit and set up a meeting. And you define what kind of a meeting it is, if it's just a local meeting, if it's a uh, uh, area-wide or uh, um, multi-area uh, multi meeting. And uh, then uh, basically send out an invite to people and uh, you are remote. Or uh, when people come into the room, the information on how to log into crowd mics is displayed. You can uh, elect to uh, set up surveys, ask questions of the audience members that they can respond to. Uh, you can select whether you want to have a moderated uh, audience speech setup where a moderator controls who talks and how long they can talk, or an unmoderated where the guests in the audience um, join a queue and as one finishes, the next person in the queue is uh, notified that they can speak. And when they're done speaking, the next person. So it's, it's, uh, it's really very simple from a setup standpoint and from an, an operation standpoint. 
Yeah, I, I would second that. Uh, it's just an app that you download, put on your phone, um, open up the app and, and connect uh, to the meeting. It's very, very simple. It, it's also what I didn't mention in my presentation was we have crowd mics uh, online as well. So not only could the people in, in the room participate, but people remotely can also participate. Uh, we've, done, we've done that a lot in our company. We use it remotely as well as when we're in, in meetings. Very powerful platform and very, very simple to use. Yeah, and if anybody out there would like a, a demonstration of the remote aspect of it, it's very simple to do. And we could work with our, our partners at, at, uh, at Lightworks to get something set up for you. More than happy to. Thank you so much again. Um, as a reminder, Biamp has a phenomenal selection of solutions that serve a wide range of vertical markets. I know that I was so impressed with this presentation, particularly the crowd mics, actually. I think that is super, super interesting. And as a reminder, we here at Lightworks are here to set up demonstrations. So please do feel free to reach out. We want to thank all of our attendees for being here for our Biamp webinar. And also, thank you so much to our presenters, Phil and Andrew with Biamp. Um, please do continue again to monitor our social media, email marketing, um, for, and of course our website for upcoming events here at Lightworks. And please feel free to contact us anytime for demonstrations or questions on any of the solutions that you saw today. Thank you so much again, and have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.